If you would like to get your song reviewed, dear listener, there's the filthy capitalist option. It's sorry, it says. 125 gets you straight to the head of the line. You don't have to be a part of the alliance. You don't have to be a part of the group. Wait a minute. And the biggest thing is you don't have to wait. You have to skip and jump right in front of everybody. 125 gets you there. You do that three times and then get mashed down to the $75 rate for perpetuity. Yes! Also, there is a band review option. <laughs> so if you've got a band and you're trying to get your band some exposure, hit me up at sorry at gmail.com and I'll show you the details about how to pull you that off. You can also jump on Patreon and there is a option on the tiers to be able to get your band reviewed. Yep. Obviously, we can't lie to you. So we can't guarantee, can't guarantee a positive you review. A positive review. <laughs> get what you get. It's just rubbish. 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 That's British for garbage. Ah! My favorite is the community option. One dollar at the gate gets you in a Patreon. You get to join an alliance. The alliance joins their points together, and that helps determine what songs that we do. The alliances hang out on Discord. Message me on Patreon to get the link. And they do all kinds of other cool things. They do Minecraft. What? Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, yeah. It's really a community within the community. Anybody can go on the village, facebook.com backslash Vin and Sorry. There's 160 plus thousand people on the channel. What's cool about the Discord is that it offers a real opportunity for community connection, friendship, that type of thing. But, and uh, it's on Discord, so if you're not a Facebook person, it's for you. You start off at a dollar. Right. Plus you get exclusives. Sorry and I are working on a song. So the first 15 seconds of that was on Patreon. Also, at $15 tier and above, when we actually debut the video, they're going to be there live with us. There you are, dear listener. Buy our merch. Buy our merch indeed. A child shall lead them. To buy our merch. Yes, dear listener. Okay, so we are doing a Revo stream. Happy birthday, Revo. Dreamcatcher Mason is next. He said, is it Here's Mason or my song? Oh, it's probably my song. Here's Dreamcatcher's new song that was re released today. Whoa. As in when? Today. Today, today? Yeah, today, today. Their new album, Apocalypse, Save Us Also, just came out today. I'm writing this in advance to listening or watching the new video and won't give my opinion until after watching. Okay. Okay. This should be interesting. Interestante. Wait, he said uh, watching the video? Is that I'm what he said? I'm writing this in advance to listening or watching the new video and won't give my opinion until after watching. So Okay. So okay. is he saying we should watch the video or is he's going to watch the video? Uh, he's watching it, but I think he's going to watch it at the same time as us. I'm not sure. Okay. Because I've got... Or the... maybe he watched it and he doesn't want to give us the opinion until after. So... Okay. Here we go, guys. My son, Mason, whatever. Dreamcatcher. Let's go. Again, this one also might get blocked. If it does get blocked, hang out. We're going to come right back. Oh, he's not giving his opinion at all. Don't worry. Don't worry. If we get blocked, we're coming right back. You know the drill. Here we go. Please don't want fight for us. Send my home in the ocean. Send my home in the desert. Take a little night, man. 
Okay, uh, so it looks like my son is, it means home? My yeah. son uh, means home, I'm apparently. I'm going to send you the lyrics through text, okay? Okay. Here's the link. As if okay, she go. was rapping. I didn't, uh, K-pop, I know. K-rock, I know. K-rap, talk to him, okay, brother you minister. you said it was color-coded, and I just thought that that meant like, I don't know, the lyrics were going to change color, and I didn't understand why you were so excited about it. And then partway through, I looked over there, and it was lit up each of the girls' faces as they were as they were doing their vocals, which I yeah. thought was pretty badass. Yeah, that's a lot of programming. <laughs> yeah, that is. A lot of freaking yeah. programming. Yeah, I wonder if it was a fan main video or if it was theirs. Um. Anyway, that was that was a really cool angle. I really liked that. I actually wish I would have been seeing that from the beginning. Please, someone so, fight for us. I know. What What are they singing about? Uh. I don't know. I was like, Tomorrow just fades away. Oh, stay. Shakes the ground. It's falling down. A clear, dead sign. Someone get comfortable. Oh, I can't be fooled no more. Through the forest, fall of light all day, all night. You are deep inside. Break your habit now. Save my home in the jungle. Save my home in the polar. Protect my Maya son. And what did you say that was? Uh, it's a uh, it, it means home. Please, someone fight for us. So I, I don't know if this oh. is about global climate change. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Could be jungle, about climate polar, change. Yeah. Okay. Um, because somebody's saying fight for our home. It's talking yeah. about the polar bear and all the rest of it, and it talks about your addiction. Yeah. Okay. Tomorrow Could, just fades away. Everybody do what they want to. Nothing real. Promise in vain. Clench your eyes. Open again, but no future before us. It's always late to regret it, huh? Comfort can do you harm. Be my side. Comfort can do you harm. That's so interesting. So there are so many things that we won't be inconvenienced with because we don't care so much. Like with the global warming or like ways that we can protect our planet and stuff and inconveniences. Like like whenever, <laughs> if we go to Starbucks and they give us a plastic straw, we never complain. <laughs> if yeah. they give us a paper one, we're like, yo, why would they do this? At least put the tip plastic or, you know, yeah. like we've always got something to say about it. But yeah. we never complain when it's a plastic one because that's what we want. Um, but there's a lot of things like that where environmentally we don't really care because we want to be comfort. We want comfort and we want convenience. And our, um, it's affecting Yeah, the our, our uh, governor planet, outlawed yep. uh, plastic bags at Walmart. Yeah, it's so inconvenient. So you have to buy these big sort of reusable, yeah, recyclable bags. But it's only a dollar. But it is still kind of inconvenient because you have to remember you to have bring to remember. it. And then you pack it. It just, it just sucks. But it's so much better. It's so much better for the environment. Mm -hmm. So it's like, that's one of the things where it's kind of like, there are certain limits to democracy. Like, as Westerners and as Americans, we <laughs> think that democracy is, like, the biggest, the highest value to run a society. And I, I think, to a degree, it has some merits. But it also has some serious demerits, which I is, agree. if you have the majority of people who are not emotionally and intellectually mature enough to realize, hey, this specific action is going to cause yep. this specific result on the collective. Mm -hmm. But because we're so immature, especially in the West, and because we're so individualistic, we're like, man, fuck those people. Mm -hmm. Ah, me! And what I want is paramount, and the individual. And there's always going to be the conflict of the balance between individuals' rights and what's good for the collective. Mm -hmm. And that's essentially the measuring practice and the negotiation that all governments have to contend with 
and the concept of government in the first place has to contend with. It's managing human sinfulness for sure, but it's also managing that very difficult paradox between what's good for the collective and the individual's rights to self-determination. Mm -hmm. And people simplistically say, oh, well, that's simple. As long as your rights don't cause harm onto another person, then uh, then you're free to do it. But if it causes harm to another person, then you're not free to do it. It's like, okay, well, how far do you want to take that? So, for example, if you eat Burger King every day, you're causing harm to yourself. But mm -hmm. if you're a dad with kids, aren't you harming your family? Mm -hmm. Okay, so then at that point, if you harm your family, you're harming society. So at, at what point do we outlaw Burger King? Mm -hmm. Like, where do you take? That's not a simple answer. Yeah. Especially, yeah. you know, and we've talked about, you know, COVID situation, COVID situation, va vax mandates, perfect thing. The logic is, well, all the rest of us are going to die, right? So you should get vaccinated so that the rest of us don't die. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the unvaccinated is saying, well, if you're vaccinated, then there's no problem. Mm -hmm. Why are you worried about it if you're vaccinated? Go get vaccinated. So it, it, it's a real difficult back and forth. So when she says, please, somebody fight for us, it's like, I think some of the problem is, is is there's so much, especially when it comes to climate change. My position on climate change is that I probably believe that it's a real thing based on the fact that there's almost univocal agreement among experts in the field on the topic. Yeah. So I'm inclined to say, okay, what are the odds that these people are, are just telling a bullface lie about this? Probably uh. very, very low. That's 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 my perspective. Now, on the other hand, I could see people saying, oh, yeah, like with COVID. What about COVID? And that's a very good point, <laughs> which is why the media should not make a practice of lying so much, because now nobody believe it doesn't matter mm -hmm. yeah. what authoritative institution there is. Very. There are going to be people who are inclined to say to look at it with the screw face. And I understand why I understand why. Um, but that's that's kind of my position on it. But that's one of the things that makes it hard to fight global warming or climate change. It's because you have other people saying, yeah, I don't really trust that. And then you have other people saying, well, you know, yes. this winter was really cold, blah, blah, blah. Go ahead. What were you I saying? I mean, even just experientially, I have seen global warming to be true. When I was a kid, the type of winters that we had and the amount of snow that we had here in Maine and the way the snow banks were like one year, I remember that they had they put like a temporary mandate that everybody had to put a ball on the top of their antenna because you couldn't see cars on the other side of the snow banks. You needed the antenna and you were looking for the balls. And, um, you know, you see the pictures of, you know, when my dad was a kid, they were walking to mass like the banks were huge and high. You don't get huge and high snow banks. And we haven't for years. Like, so experientially, yeah, how much is that is the difference between a child and an adult? No, like you're seeing the pictures now. And like I said, when have, have you ever seen them mandate the things on the top of the things? Cause there's so much snow. Yeah. I just think the reason it was initially called global warming, then it got transitioned to climate change because there were a couple winters that were the coldest to date recently. So if you're just talking about, you know, cause sometimes it gets so cold that it can't snow. Yeah. Right. So. The argument, the counter to that would be, that's not because of global warming. Just two winters ago, it was one of the coldest winters in history. So it got so cold, it couldn't snow. So you wouldn't see a snowbank. So their argument is, and that's... Yeah, but I thought overall, if you average out the winter weather, even though there was some, you know, record lows, it was still warmer than it has been in the past. <sighs> well, see, that's the problem is, is client, is, is, is... Is climate change anthropogenic, meaning did it have its genesis in human beings? Are we causing it? Or is or that just already going to be happening? Or are we contributing to, to I... it? Or, you know, whatever. But the, the point is, it's called climate change. The reason is, is because there are a lot of places where it's been colder and a lot of years where overall it's been colder. So they're like, OK, it's not global warming. It's climate change. These are drastic changes to the climate that then have horrible ramifications for the rest of us. So you can't go by your own experience. Mm -hmm. I mean, I but but the problem mm -hmm. the problem is is that you know we saw this with Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan was talking to Candace, and they were going back and forth, and Candace was denying global warming because she has to, or climate change because she has to, because she's 
That's where all our money's coming from. Yeah. And it was clear when Joe was interrogating her, she had that no got so uncomfortable. Yeah. She had no clue what the hell she was talking about because she's Fox News, and that's where you get those. That's who's cutting your checks, and they have an agenda for why they're going to deny climate change. Mm-hmm. And she went right along with it, even though she was evidence free, fact free. All the you know, she's in the facts. Don't care about your feelings, crew. She completely, you know was like, yeah, I don't know, but I'm still going to speak out against it because yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. And so that's one part of media disinformation, I think. But the other part of that is all the shit that that recently just came out valid about about the CDC and and COVID validates what the, quote, conspiracy theorists were saying in a Mm -hmm. large degree. Yeah. So now people are saying, man, I believe none of this shit. Yeah, but you, know what I'm you need to to know and see the effects of it to know that like, okay, it's not good to throw your trash on the ground. Correct. It's not good to throw trash into the oceans. Correct. Um. Yeah. You know, d- having does it seals really with take, the yeah, like with the yeah. Like, can't you? Don't you have enough? Like, um, it was funny because when we were at my grandmother's funeral, they they said that she always would crush cans, and. Somebody asked her, like, why do you always crush the can? And she said the reason that she crushes the can is because she never wants a little critter to get its head stuck in the can. Which, <laughs> I don't know if that happens, but I thought that that was really cute that, that she was like that. And it was cool, too, because, so, like, if you have your your cans, like a six-pack or whatever, and it has those, those circle little things. rings, yeah. Yeah. Like, up until, like, four packages ago, I always cut those every single time, no matter what. Because I never want a little critter to get itself stuck in that. So I was like, I thought it was cute because I didn't know that about my grandma, but I'm doing that and she was doing that. But like, does it really take a rocket scientist to know like uh, how many birds do you have to see stuck with that thing around their necks before you say, I mean, maybe I should cut those. So when I first came trapped. to this country, there was that big oil spill, big, big, oh, big, yes. big, big, big that. oil spill when I first got to America. I remember that. I was like, holy fucking shit. And what it did to those animals. And they were trying to save as many as they could. Yeah, and, those I mean, shout those out to the seals, those seals with the uh, with the they're just covered in Ew, oil. Oh my god! It's like you don't need some giant scientist. I, I agree with you. Like you don't need a giant scientist to say that's, that's not wrong. a good look. That's wrong. But but I, but I feel like that there's so many things overall that we do, especially in this country, and um, you know, not to go too deeply i guess into the topic again but the fact that we can take our own children and justify killing them in the womb of their mother why would we care about the animals why would we care about the environment how are we that far gone that we would argue that this is good and well, that it doesn't you're, matter? you're coming from your perspective because most americans are going to be way more triggered by a oh no that's puppy true. than a yes, baby i know so like that lady you know she, yeah. she in in dc she she got the babies and buried them and all the rest of it and and she put pictures out there. She was she did get them to bury them. Yeah. Yeah. I figured yeah. That's what yeah. She was they, doing. they put pictures and all that stuff out there, and you know, mainstream media didn't really cover it. Uh, only to say, look at this woman. She's a freak. What's wrong with her? Instead of saying, holy shit, uh, did we know that we do this in this country to to babies this this far developed? Like that was the real. Apparently, still have like aborted babies from. The 60s. That was the real story. <laughs> the real story was, well, most Americans don't know that we're killing kids that that far along in the gestational process, but people didn't care. And somebody said, like, if we would have showed a, 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 a picture of a bunch of brutalized puppies, I've always the said way that. they brutalized that baby, there would have been a national that. outcry. I so, always said if somebody did an abortion on a, <coughs> on a dog and sucked those puppies out of there piece by piece and then crushed their skulls, people would have a fit. Yeah. They would probably go to jail. And rightly so. Right. Rightly so. I agree. You shouldn't do that to them. Rightly we shouldn't so. do that to our own children either. Yeah, but that's why she talks about not being fooled because I'm I'm more, the more and more I talk about that topic, the more and more I realize how absolutely ignorant people are as, as to the topic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And 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 like to me it's it's on the other side too like with with climate change. Like all these critics of climate change and I ask them like, okay, Who have you really looked at? What have you looked at? They haven't looked at anything. Mm -hmm. They're just like, well, the Chinese are worse. Why don't the Chinese? This is a conspiracy. It's It's so that the Chinese can have better industry than us, blah, blah, blah. It's like, it's clear they haven't looked at it. So they're like willfully ignorant. And it's the same thing on the abortion topic. Like, we're not going to look at it. We're not going to we're not going to look at the description of what's happening. Yeah. We're going to put it behind a nice building and we don't have to see it. So see no evil. Okay, here we go. 
and I feel like with with climate change, it's the same thing on the right wing side. It's like, we're hey, listen, I'm not really feeling any effects of it. I'm not really, you know, hey, I want my millions, I want my whatever, yep. and we'll just we'll just mortgage. It. Let the next generation and the next generation keep dealing with it. We don't want to see the reality of what's yep. happening. Like yep. we're destroying our own home. And to your point, you should not need a brilliant scientist to tell you, hey, if you this cut, if you clear idea. cut five thousand acres of trees. Right. <laughs> like they cannot be good for the planet mm -hmm. like we all watch captain planet as kids like we're at the oldest side of millennial like you saw captain planet it's not good yeah <laughs> like i yeah, i don't exactly. i don't need you know it's it, it's funny too like it, it there's a lot of this stuff in pop culture like with the simpsons where they've got this river by the plant uh homer works at this nuclear power plant and like the fish have three eyes, like all the waste goes into this river by by Springfield. So and like bad, it's this running it's joke with three eyed fish. And it's just it's like it's there. It's been there. Like you don't need to see anything to know that. Yeah, there's a fucking nuclear power plant oh, yeah. and you're dumping all your waste into this river. And now you got fish coming out with three eyes, two I mean, noses we, and eight mouths. We I mean, live come by on a river. And uh, Johan, a couple years ago, pulled something out of that river. I don't know if it was a frog or a fish, but it fucking had two heads or something like that. Like, it was bizarre as fuck. And when he showed it to me, I was like, and that's why I don't get in that water. Yeah. Because that's still mutating. Yeah. And they've been trying to clean that river for generations now. Yeah. Because of all the stuff that they dumped into it. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Not uh, the Amazon water. jungle. The rainforest, right? Being chopped down since they voted in a right wing parent. There it is. Yeah. And it's like the Amazon jungle is almost something that like doesn't even belong. It, it's almost like the, the Amazon belongs to everybody. Mm -hmm. It just happens to be. But it's such a rich, deep, dense place. And we've made so many discoveries about our mm -hmm. neighbors on this planet. And all their No, let's just cut it all down. It's like, mm -hmm. wow, dude. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, mm -hmm. some of this stuff should just be axiomatic yeah. and just plain as day yeah. common sense but once again the the k-pop group coming with the with the mm -hmm. heat yep and and talking about a real life real life issue and saying somebody would fight for us which is ironic because that's really the issue it, it's almost like the next generation is already talking to us through mm -hmm. this music mm -hmm. um and you got to we got to do something. I don't know if it's as bad as to the extent that people are warning. Like, you know, like Michael Moore was like, we're literally out of time. It's over. We're all going to die. I'm not sure that we're that far down the line, but I am sure that what we're doing with gasoline, fossil fuels, et cetera, et cetera. I think I think that that unless we come up with the technology, we need to stop. We've we've probably killed 50 times over a scientist who could solve this problem for us already via abortion of course night, of but. course it's fine okay on, on closing <laughs> i was talking to this one person about this issue and they and they what about your grandkids he said i don't care about your grandkids i don't care they'll figure it out like we figured it out and i was like what the f but then at the same time yeah. i was like that's the there attitude everybody has <laughs> there it is he just said well, it out figure loud. it out figure it out <laughs> figure it out uh, anyway, so I, I like this one. Um, I'm going to give this one an 8.7. Uh, I also agree with Amy oh, Lee. Amy. I don't understand how white people kiss their dogs on the mouth. Don't make sense to me. But uh, uh, yeah, I'll go with 8.7. 8.7, 8.7, 8.7. right, all you losers. Ghost is next. Ghost is next. Dear listener, we've been out. for a long time. Sorry, out. Go.